Hi there, this is Megan Coleman and with Jamberry Nails and I just wanted to do a quick video of opening my True Shine Gel Enamel System. Um, this is what you get when you open it up. Um, it was very exciting, of course we've all been waiting for it. Um, this is what you get in the kit. You have, of course, your lamp, your packets for removal, your orange sticks and cuticle pushers, your nail prep wipes, and of course you get your cuticle oil, the black cherry color, gel color, the um, gel enamel top coat and base coat, and I just wanted to kind of go over what all you get, and I also wanted to touch on the fact that this is another kit that I just opened for you guys, but you can see on my nails I actually have done the gel. These are all the colors I got, so um, I decided to just do everything I had to see what they looked like. This is the pink flamingo, or I think it's just flamingo. This is party dress. This is valley girl. This is beta. And this is the black cherry that comes with it. And it's definitely much lighter than the book, which a lot of people um, are reporting. It's kind of a... Um, I don't know, it's perfect for fall. It's a really nice, almost uh, mauve or cranberry kind of color in my opinion. If I can get a really good picture there. Um, but it's great for fall, so maybe that's why they picked it. We have all been kind of wondering why they chose that color. And I also wanted to just show you, um, you know, what they look like when you open them. Um, and I will say the non-sparkle ones are in a way a little easier to work with. It's definitely a learning curve. Um, these are kind of runny, so when they say do a thin coat, they mean it because when it's thick and runny, it just kind of runs to the edges um, of your hand, of your fingernails, which I have very curved nails, so that probably doesn't help with um, the running. But when you open it and show you what it looks like. Bear with me, I have one hand. So it's kind of a flat um, little uh, applicator and you know, i have gotten much better at putting the lacquers on. Um, this was a little bit harder, it just is a different, you know, animal basically. So it will take some practice um, and I have to say definitely going thin is the way to go if you have to do thin and cure more t um, times than do that. And uh, the sparkle was a lot harder to work with. Um, just, it's very different. It's a lot thicker. Um, and instead of like actually brushing it, I kind of had to tap it and pat it off of the brush onto my nail. And then after that, I kind of moved it around. Um, so I think I did three coats just because of the learning curve, of course, I kind of put it on and there's some spots that didn't really have any sparkle. Um, so I had to kind of go back, but I kind of had to tap it on and move it around. Um, and you can see, I kind of got some of it far down, um, but it was easy, like they said, to take it off if you, before you cure it, if you just clean around the edges and everything, um, it wasn't hard to take off of your skin. The other thing, is when they tell you to do that tip seal, I don't have very long nails and that was kind of difficult to do because of course I just got it all over my skin. Um, and afterwards I did have a lot of picking to do um, to get out from under there. So um, with shorter nails, it's definitely gonna more, be more difficult, which is a given because you're gonna get it all over your skin. Um, and this is my left hand, so it looks much better. You don't wanna see my right hand. Uh, that's gonna take a little more practice. Uh, but I just wanted to share kind of my experience and like I said, this was just my very first attempt on doing it and I'm going to also do a video about um, either during the removal or after um, the removal. I know that it comes with the removal pockets, but I also talked to my leader and she has tried using the lacquer and wrap remover and she said it can be done it took a lot longer and she felt like it might have been a little harder on her nails so i think i'm going to try it both ways and kind of see what happens there's some other great little aftermarket products out there that you can put things um like remover in so i will stay tuned i will do another video to see 
how my nails are after I remove it because personally my nails uh, don't respond really well to acetone even store polish remover that's not acetone really dries out um, my nails and they're very um, brittle and they crack and I couldn't figure out why it was happening but after I stopped using the store polish and I bought the lacquer remover I didn't have that problem anymore so it made me realize that the store remover was dehydrating my nails and causing a lot of damage um, so I'm just curious to see how the packets do because they are um, they do contain acetone so I was a little worried um, about damage but stay tuned we'll see what happens and I think I'm gonna try one hand with the pockets here and I'm gonna try one hand with the lacquer remover and kind of see what happens so I will do that probably here in a few days and take these off and see how it goes so stay tuned and uh, this is Megan Coleman with Jamberry and uh, have fun with your gel kits ladies